Hey guys, it's Jake with the Kansas Speed Company. Uh, appreciate your watching this video. So we get a lot of questions about how we manage our bees, how we take care of our bees, what we do and so on and so forth. So before I get into to what we do and with this, I'll just say that you guys can take care of your bees, whatever is best that works for you. The whole point is, is to keep the bees alive. That's what you want to do, okay? So that being said, last year, last winter was very, very, very cold. It was extremely cold and people were asking us, are you guys wrapping hives? Do you put wrap on it? Do you put hail bays or bells of hay in front of your hives and so on? So you do want a wind block, okay? You want to block that wind blowing on your hive. However you want to do that is up to you. Um, what I did last year, just as an experiment, now I'm not the inventor of any of this stuff. This stuff's been out for a long time, okay? But I went ahead and tried it anyway. And what I made was called a quilt box. It's really simple. And the point is, is that this quilt box is what it does is, is it pulls the moisture off your bees, okay? Your bees are able to maintain temperature on their own. They don't need a special wrapping on the box or anything like that. Any type of insulation, the box thickness is fine, okay? But what does kill your bees in winter time are two things. The main thing is moisture. The other thing is mites. If you didn't treat for mites, you're probably gonna come out of winter with a dead hive because they either absconded or they just froze to death, okay? Because of moisture. Now the example of that is when you take a cold glass of water outside in the middle of summer, what happens to it? It condensates. Well, the same thing works in reverse. When you have bees inside of a hive, okay, and they're generating all this heat in their cluster to try to keep that queen alive, what they're doing is, is that they're moving around in there. There's the honey in there and the bees are in there. These are live things that are inside your hive that are generating moisture, okay? So, Without further ado, I made this thing here called a quilt box. It's real simple. It's just a super, okay? That's all it is. And I put this, it's called painter's canvas. And then you can kind of see this like stain here. That's from our winter patty right here. So what we do, regardless of how much honey our bees have, okay, you want at least... 10 frames total. It doesn't have to be placed anywhere specific in the hive. You just want about 10 frames in your hive of honey, okay? Just to make this real simple. But we always put a winter patty on top of the frames, and then I take this, and you simply just place it right on top of your deeps, okay? Then what you do is that we go and buy this big giant bag of pine bedding. It's all natural. You don't want to put any other treated mulch in there. And it's, this stuff is real fine, okay? Real fine sawdust, chippings, anything like that. And what you do is you take it and you put it in your box. This is just kind of an example. So you'll fill it up, the whole box, all the way up to where these holes are. And I'll get to that here in just a minute, okay? And you wanna compress that, those wood shavings down. And you see how much it's lost there? So you keep them pressed down and then you fill it up again to the, above the holes a little bit. And then when it's filled up to above the holes, you just kinda, when it's filled up, you just kinda pull it out a little bit and then, when you put your lid on top of your hive, these holes are just below your lid, okay? And what that's going to do is, that's going to allow the ambient air to move in and out of that quilt box to remove the moisture that is absorbing into these wood shavings, okay? That way it keeps your hive inside warm, and dry. Very important, okay? So, 
Now the holes I talked about a second ago, you want to put it on there and then you want to drill them just below the bottom of the lid. That way it still stays sealed up. Now, I did this all on all my hives last winter and we didn't have any losses. Now that's because we did treat for mites three times, okay? And then we put this on here. They had plenty of honey to keep themselves fed, plus the patty we put on there. And then that's it. And then we uh, come out and check them on a warm day, see how that patty's doing. You can take this top off and then look at them. And if you're happy, great, put, put it back on and they'll be fine. So if you guys have any questions, let Christine know, not me. Send her a message through Facebook or uh, make a comment on this or whatever you guys like to do. So call is a good thing. And don't text like 800 paragraphs. Just send a real simple question and we will help you guys out. And then this video is here as well. So we appreciate your guys' support. Like and share the video. We'd really appreciate it. And then you guys have a nice day. Thank you.